Hi. Welcome to This Is Mapa on the NC Network. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell anyone that's bothered about the Barath Lima or that's bothered about the Cypriot national team. Don't tell Ket Spire though, because clearly he doesn't care about the national team. I'm here on my own at the moment. At the moment. I don't know where Thasso is. I don't know where he is. I told him we're going live at nine o'clock. Maybe he's thinking French time, nine o'clock, but he's an hour ahead of me. It's 10 o'clock France time. Where are you, Thasso? Where for art there, thou, Thasso? And um, there you go, Mbufo is here. Adebale. Hey, there's Adebale. I'm back, then Mbufo. I'm, I'm like the ghost. I'm going to be haunting you when you're asleep. Be uh, polluting your mind with Chico Bantha. Oh! Anyway, while we wait for Thasso, I'd just like to say thank you, everyone, for your support for our charity marathon pod over the weekend. For those who don't know, we did 11 hours and 36 minutes. And then thanks to George, he let us know that YouTube wouldn't archive streams of 12, hour, 12 hours. So Pedro said, Hade, fuck it. We're going to stop this one and restart and boy did we restart man it was incredible that i've been doing live streams now for eight or nine years and that is up there with the best it was a most incredible day we started at nine o'clock uk 11 o'clock cyprus we finished at what time was it 11 o'clock uk which is one o'clock in the morning cyprus time Ah, it was it was incredible, absolutely incredible. And um, again, thank you to everyone for your support. Can you stop it and start in thirty minutes? You're not home yet. Well, what is this? What is it? no 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 no? I'm not going to stop it and start again in thirty minutes. So I've got thirty minutes of just talking by myself, talking by myself. This is going to be fun. But listen, I've got Mbufo here to help me. Uh, he's gonna, he, he's gonna, no, you're never going to get a break. You're never going to get a break from us. Bolis loves Ketspire. Exo. That that's that's I I I I agree. I agree. Exo, get rid of him. Get rid of him as soon as possible. Good evening, gents. Ketspire for president. Pedro, why don't you come on for a bit while Thasso is I don't know what he's doing. He's driving. I mean, he's in France and they drive on the other side of the road. So that, that's the problem straight away. I don't know what me to tell you. I mean, that, that's a problem. It's a big problem. Libon. So, before Thasso, hopefully you drive home safe, Thasso. Why don't you having an accident on, on my behalf? Do you get what I'm saying? So I want you to get home safe. Before Thasso comes on, I'm going to talk about the prizes that we have on offer. Because as you guys are probably aware of, just in case you don't already know, we're doing a raffle or a prize draw for uh, Anna Oniromia Fhi, an incredible children's cancer charity. They, they've been working wonders for the last 25 years. And we've been fortunate enough to work alongside them. We've got the full support of the charity. We've got the full support of the Players Union PASP. I'd like to thank uh, Spiro and Loizo, who've been absolutely incredible in helping us out, giving us prizes to, to give out as, as donation uh, for the prize draw. It's been absolutely incredible. Uh, everyone that took part on the pod, it was insane. Insane. You know, to, to think that when we started No Trough Days, it was just me taking the piss and having a laugh. And now we've got the NC Network and we have so many people supporting us and we're backing every single person that is, is supporting us. And Blue Zone, Dogari Mesa, Obadigi, Ah, crying out loud, football holics, Omone Agostesera, uh, Bemuda Leo. The, the, the list goes on. Stella Marcos, it's just, it's just, it's incredible. And for us to do this pod, I told, I told Pedro at the end of the show, at the end of the 16 hours that we've made history. And this is going to be a turning point in Cypriot media. And I fully believe him. People might think I'm being big headed, but this, this is how I see it. Because it's never been done before. And between you and I, everyone that's watching, 
I actually got in touch with the Guinness Book of Records. I got in touch with the Guinness Book of Records. I'm waiting for them to get back to me. I've emailed them, so I'm waiting for them to get back to me. So hopefully, we may be, we may be in the Guinness Book of Records for the longest live stream in Cyprus for a football podcast and for the amount of podcasters that we have on. I'm hoping, inshallah, that they get back to me and they say we're going to look into it. Because if they do and we get a Guinness Book of Record, it's going to be crazy, bro. What do you reckon, Pedro? Can you imagine what would happen if we got in the Guinness Book of Records? What would you think would happen? Mental! Yeah, I think it's it's gonna be it's gonna be mad. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be great, and it's gonna be a, a reward to everyone that contributed for the output of the event. Do you know what we should do? If if we do get in the Guinness Book of Records, right? We I think we get like a trophy or a plaque or something like that. Yes. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna send it to Cyprus, and every every month, each podcasters can have it. They can borrow it. So, you know, Logari Mesa can have it for a month and have it in, in the background and then Blue Zone can have it and then Obadi Yi and can you imagine? We just share uh, it around. Yeah, well, let, let's wait. Yeah, it would be great. It would be great, definitely. But it yeah, would it's, be great it's to wild. do something like that. Yeah. It's wild, it's yeah. wild. Well, look, um, thank you for filling in while Thaso is getting ready. Uh, I couldn't um, avoid it because Scuba asked me to get on, so... Okay, uh, okay. Got, my new... My favorite abuelistas, because... Well, listen, I'm still waiting for Skuvar to give me his number so I can meet up with him, because I said he lives close to me. So let's go for a go for a cafe. I don't drink. It's haram. So, you know, we can we can go for a coffee or something, my guy. So, um, yeah. Pedro, let's let's talk about these prizes that are on offer then, because I've, done, I've made a little video with the fanelles, the, little, the shirts that are available that I've got, anyway, images of. Yes. So do you want to explain the... Actually, do the 50-euro ones first, and then we can move... Have you got the fifty euro ones? You 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 want them? Uh, yeah. Yes, I, I, do. I, I do. I do. I do. I do. Just oh. let me open the Excel sheet. Here he is. I have it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's only going to get worse. <laughs> <laughs> do, I, so I, do you want me or should I go? We'll, I, we'll I, talk about the prizes and then I'll go and you continue with Tasso. Yeah, no worries, bro. No worries. I was... what? So why are you looking for that? Why are you looking for whatever you're looking for? I was talk. Yeah, I was late, everybody. I'm late because um, I was doing a I was doing a biberon for Arthur. Oh, he was doing it. And then he decided to get the powder and just <laughs> covered me in it. Bro... How old is he? He's going to be three in June. Right. That's what three-year-olds yeah. do, my guy. So you, you became fat of the friendly ghost. So what's wrong with that? <laughs> oh, friendly ghost. All right, okay. Fat of the friendly ghost, yeah. What's wrong okay. with that? There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, this is from Buffo. Like, so I'm going to be haunting him with Chico Banta, and then Tasso's going to be on the other side of the room going, oh, <laughs> I'm your friend. <laughs> Baby powder all over his face. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's baby powder, nothing else. That's what's not yeah, into baby that kind powder. of stuff. Baby in that kind of body. <laughs> right. So, uh, are we going to go with the 50 euro ones first? Yes, yes. Go with the 50 euro ones, my bro. Okay. Um, we have uh, Zvarovsky crystal coupons. We've got uh, Atlantis Garden in Mazodos. Which is a villa for two nights for two people, uh, which is self catering. Uh, the Flamingo Paradise Hotel, two nights for two people, bed and breakfast. Um, the grilling workshop in Nicosia, get your fugu done there. Full fugu kit, for, uh, which is worth uh, around 130 euros. Uh, Vangelis Hotel and Suites, two nights for two people, bed and breakfast. Uh, in Cyprus villages in uh, Dohni or Kalabaso, you have a one night uh, bed and breakfast, so you can go for your agro tourism. It's very nice, especially during the springtime. From uh, Alpha Omega, we, ha we have uh, 100 euro coupons uh, to do your shopping. Uh, Angels Dance Studio, Nicosia, one year dance lessons were worth of 700 euro. 
and the Sunrise Jade in Brotheras, which is a five-star hotel, two nights for two people, a bed and breakfast. And I think we have another one that we got today, right, Stel? Didn't we get uh, a... Fast or nose? Fast or nose? We got... What? We got we got another entry today, didn't we? Uh, for the price, yes. let, me, uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, I, have, I have it in front of me right now. I have it in front of me right yeah, now. Yeah, just uh, It's um, it's a tree fan with table. So it's a, a standing tree with a fan on top, and it's got a small table. You oh, that's from Roy. It. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, yeah, can yeah. use it indoors and outdoors. Uh, of the value of three hundred euros. So. It's gonna. It's, it's a nice uh, spring one, and the valleys in Veranda subo na binisto boros su dorado galocheri brina pjani pirais di porles. That's a nice one. What else do we have? We have something else, and I didn't know that in this category. What well, What about the one from um, Dimitri? Re, uh, ah, yes. So that is yes. So that is in the standard prizes. Right. Okay. Um, my boot. My boutique in Left Costia, well, it's, it, but boutique, it's like boutique. beautiful, beautiful, but boutique yeah? in Left Costia is a 50 euro voucher on any hair removal service. So, bed, so somebody like Petro, for instance, can join our club. <laughs> I don't think he wants to. I don't think so. Oh, don't go on. So. Go on. <laughs> I don't think so. Go on. Um, um, but yes, there is, we way. also now have a 50 euro voucher for hair removal services uh, at my boutique in Lefkosia. Okay. Splendid. Did you what was the by the way? Place? What was the by the way for? What was the by the way for? I don't like the by the way. From home. Who said by the way? You said by the way, Pedro. I, I didn't like the sign of it. No, 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 no. It's uh, it's fixed. It's fixed. Yeah. So it's are fixed. we gonna go? Are we gonna go with uh, what you can win from uh, one euro and above? Uh, do we have time? We've got lots of stuff. We've got we've got gifts from the players' union. PASP. We've got uh, padball for one hour for four people at. Padbon Eleon. We've got five vouchers for 20 euros spending at Grepa Land. We've got uh, two uh, 20 euro vouchers at Bianco Confectionery. We've got two 30 euro bottles of wine from Noera Wine Bar in Stasi Gradus. Uh, we've We've got stuff to give away from Coffee Island in Lemeso. In Griva, in Griva de Gemi in Lemeso. Yeah, we've got, we can get you a mug with the logo of any team as chosen by the winner. We've got uh, some shisha at, at, from the Santai Shisha Lounge. We've got uh, Trapeja at. Uh, at Stoa do Podosferu in Zigi, we've got at Psaro Taverna Marcos Lefconico in Zigi and Psaro Taverna Cathari Cardia in Zigi. So it's either you've either got 50 euros vouchers, you've got fish mezes, you've got uh, meat mezes, you've got all kinds of mezes. We, we, we've got you covered, whatever whatever dietary restrictions you've got, we, we've got you covered with that as well. We've got Bafos Home Market DIY. We've got a uh, basket weaving museum, two people brunches to give away. We've got... I, I think that's one of the best ones, especially if you're going on a first date. Honestly. Right. Right. I think that's a good one as well. We've it's, got... it's going to be a great outing. You can go and have your brunch in the morning at the, at the basket weaving museum at Hirogidia, then drive down to the beach, have your coffee on the beach, or take the uphill route to the mountains to go to a, yeah. wine, a winery. Yeah. Or go to the donkey farm and have a donkey ride. Yeah, that's on the other side of Lima. So, but yeah, okay, you what? can do that yeah. also. <laughs> I'm trying. To, I'm trying to tie it all in. Uh, okay. We've got we've got liters of donkey milk to give away. We've got gift bags from. Uh, we've got gift bags of chibidos from uh, from uh, Corina PepsiCo. 
We've got Beaufort is giving away printing surfaces. We've got uh, a 35 euro gift box from Knots, Knots, etc. Uh, we've got beauty product coupons and products to give away. We've got uh, we've got herbal teas. We've got what else have we got on there? That, that's that that's that's a lot of stuff to give away, and we've got it all there. We've got it all to give to you if you just give us tiny, tiny, tiny amount of money. You left out uh, uh, Boudicca Redi in Dohni that gave us a 30 euro voucher. Uh, you got uh, Beauty by Thedis Knekna in, uh, in Ziggy with a 50 euro facial care voucher. Uh, we have uh, Ang Ang um, Angela Julius in La Cha and Strogolos, 50 euro voucher. Um, and That's like it. you've mentioned at the at the beginning, my beauty Nicosia, fifty euro voucher for any hair removal service, and we've got the Lightning McQueen. Ah, yeah, the Abolonista McQueen. Abolonista McQueen collectible. That, uh, but uh, to enter that one, you have to give uh, five euros and above to enter for Abolonista McQueen. Those that give five euros and above will be entered directly in that uh, in that draw also. And it's a it's a collectible item. Very few have them, and they're worth quite a bit of money if you check it out on eBay. And the value is bound to go higher. So yeah, we got you covered. We got you covered. Remember, um, send yep. us uh, send us your receipts at charity at nc dash network dot com. There it is. There it is. There you go. Underneath me. There we go. And that's the link. And it's also in the live chat. And it's also in the description. So there's no excuse not to donate. Not to donate. Except for people oh. listening, obviously. So we'll have to. Well, when I when I put the audio up, I'll put everything in the in the show description as well. So oh. again, there's no excuses. There no excuses, even for the people listening. There you yeah. go. So you do scroll down on your phone, whatever platform you listen to, whether it be Spotify, Audio Boom, iTunes, Podbean, whatever it is. Description is going to have the link. So anywhere in the world. But don't, if you've got an Amex, forget it, because for some reason it, it doesn't work. And we're trying to figure out the Amex or whatever you want to call it. Amex, Amex, Arsmex, Texmex. Anyway, so, and also yeah. the shirts. Yes, we also uh, have a load of shirts to give away as well. It's you want me to do them and go? Much stuff we got, you man. want me to do them and go? Yeah, yeah, I've got some. I've got some clips anyway. So, okay. here we go. Uh, we've got... Uh, um... Uh, BASP uh, signed from all winners shirt of 22-23. Uh, we've got an anothesis shirt that can be done with your preferred players, uh, player or number name at the back if you want it. We've got an AEC shirt. We've got a Nea Salamina uh, Luciano Narsing shirt and a 1948-88 collector's book. We have an AL shirt, an AL shirt. Uh, from Abolon, we have a Bagenga number 90 shirt. Warn. From Aris, one. Yes. Warn. No, Warn. One. He wore it. Warn. Yeah, Warn. Warn shirt. Yes, uh, but you can, you, can, you can smell him. Yes. You can smell him after you have it. From uh, Aris, we have a, a, Mocha Brown, a Morgan Brown Warn and signed shirt. From Aris also, we have a signed shirt from the whole team. From uh, Leighton Orient, we have a Ruel Sodirigo signed shirt. Ruel, Ruel, Ruel. Yeah, we stayed on the bench yesterday. No. It's a bit, a bit, a bit, a, we'll get to it. We'll yeah, get yeah, to yeah. it. Uh, from Omonia, Ambush shirt. Nicolas Panayodo shirt. Omonia, uh, from Omonia also, Fabiano signed shirt. And a signed football from Omonia. From Bafos, we have an Igogo signed shirt of uh, the season 22-23. From uh, Enosinion Baralimniu, Vucenovic signed shirt. From Scotland, we have the Scotland national team signed shirt from all the team from the game that they played against Spain away. Uh, we have a WWE uh, souvenir magazine with uh, six signatures original on them, not uh, original signatures, not printed. 
signatures. Uh, some of them are Drew McIntyre and uh, Cody Rhodes. I think Cody Rhodes is going to be the new champion, isn't he? He'll, he'll probably beat the he Rock will probably be. at he'll WrestleMania, probably. probably. Yeah. Uh, from uh, Olympia Goslev, Kosia, Sunda Takala. We have a signed shirt from the whole team. And uh, we were able to obtain from uh, Marios Neofidu, thank you very much, Marie, a Panathinaikos shirt of Michalis Costandino that he was using in the season 2003-2004, a year which Panathina Michalis won the championship together with Panathinaikos, which is a signed shirt. And from right. Ferenc Varos, we have a signed, the last one, Ferenc Varos, a signed shirt of Ferenc Varo by three uh, ex-Omonia legends, Josef Juriak, Gabor Korol Korolovsky, and Leandro. Leandro, yep, yep. And as for the Banathan Igos shirt, I was doing a little bit of research today and I went to a few of these Facebook collectors' shirts group pages and I just informed them about these this raffle. And I had about three people from Greece message me today wanting to know, oh, is it going to be an auction? Is it going to be a raffle? I said, look, we've done an auction already with one shirt and it raised 460 euros. Um, but we wanted to do this one as a, as a raffle. Uh, so it makes it fair. <clears throat> and um, there's more people from outside of Cyprus interested in this stuff. So Very if you want to extend your chances of winning, donate a bit more than 20. Donate 40 and you get two opportunities in that one and also when you donate the 20 and you go into the shirts you also go into the other categories don't you yes i was about to say that now even if you hmm. donate 50 or 20 uh or 19 and below or even one you're still allowed entry to all the presents except the ones that are, of course are of the value if you load if you donate anything from one euro up to 19 euro you're allowed to Everything except, of course, the presents that have a value of uh, 300 plus euros, because obviously some people have donated 50 euros and more, so they have first pick on the uh, really expensive. This, this is this is how you simplify it. If you donate one euro to 19 euros, you're in the one euro price category. If you donate 20 euros and up to up to 30 uh, up to 49. You're in the 20 euro category and the one euro, but you've got with the one euro, you're on 20, you've got 20 entries. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So if you donate 39 euros, you're in the 20 euro category for the shirt, but you also got 39 entries in the one euro one. So yeah. you, so you're in two categories are affected. If you donate 50 euros or above, you're in the 50 euro, you're in the two you're in in the 20 euro basically. one twice, and you're in all of them, and you've got 50 entries yeah. in the one euro. So your chances of winning are, are are greater the more you donate. Now, obviously, times are hard, so we don't expect people to be donating 50 euros. Even one euro is enough. Even yes. one euro is enough. Honestly. The, the price right. of a coffee, guys. The price <clears throat> of a coffee is good enough for us. Where yeah, where do you get a one euro coffee appreciate. from? Okay, two euros. Would you get a two euro? I'm sorry, like, what, what are these prices for? Like, yeah, where do you get a two euro coffee from? Apparently, Pedro lives in Italia. No, uh, Fredo you can get an espresso for like. You can get a Fredo espresso for like two euros and thirty cents, two and a half euros. It's no more than that. <laughs> but it's but hey, pe people want to win a, a Bedro sign shirt. Andy, donate twenty euros, and I'll put my face on it and sign it, and I'll bring it to you myself and deliver it. So Ooh. he's giving some more work for Buffo to do. <laughs> <laughs> Well, listen, we're, we're, we're happy to, to create shirts. And if you want to donate, if you donate a 50 euro shirt, I'll, I'll get my I'll get my face and my bum printed on it if you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, no, you, Bedro is clearly the, the most popular one. That's fine. That's fine. I don't mind. No, no problem. <laughs> Bedro has taken my mantle. That's fine. I, I don't need it anymore. It's fine. I'll pass no, the no. torch. I'll no, pass the torch. No, no. <laughs> do you guys need me for anything also you can no we're done we're done my guy thank you without very much. my assistance no we're done we're done okay i'm just gonna sit in the background and watch sassos grow some hair so that he can pull them out <clears throat> well that's why i haven't shaved my friend this is i'm yeah. gonna i'm gonna go i'm gonna go at this i'm gonna give myself i'm gonna give myself a wax while we're talking yeah 
Okay, guys, enjoy the rest of the show. And everyone, Cheers, brother. remember us, please donate for the charity. Bye-bye. See you, my guy. See you. All right, play that theme tune. Ba-da. Okay, fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so we're done. We, we, we're done. We're done. We've done half an hour of talking about the charity. Now it's down to the the meat and drink of this is my pub. And there's only one place to begin, isn't there? Yeah, there is. There is. There is. There is. So, how how do you want to go? How do you want to do? You want to start with the? We can start with the press conference. We can start with the tactics. We can start with the players. We can start with the positions of the players. We can do the performance. We can do. We can do whatever you want, man. I'm. I'm so easy. I could just read my notes. It's over. It's over. Like it's over. I could just read my notes verbatim if you want. Bro, it's over with this guy in charge. It's over. Okay, look. For those, for the benefit of those listening, if you've been <clears throat> living under a rock and you don't follow the national team, which I don't blame you, Cyprus played two friendlies. We drew one all against Latvia and we lost one nil against Serbia. And let's get it right: the Serbia game, Serbia were in second gear for eighty minutes. They yep. they, they 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 bombarded us for ten minutes. They scored an early goal and all right, they missed a the penalty as well. Mol saved his second penalty in, in successive games. But they were in second gear and we were dog trash. Mm-hmm. And everything about both games stank. I mean, it was smelly. It was like the A15 Beckton exit. It was disgusting. It smelled like egg and vomit. That's the only that's the best way I can describe it. It was it was a only fan pum pum smell. That's all <laughs> I can it was disgusting, bro. <laughs> only fans pum pum smell. That's that's a quote. That's there, how long have you been waiting to get that one out? <laughs> it's since full time against Serbia. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I, I was going to say on the stream with Bedro because no one would understand, but I think we've got yeah, more. Yeah, not only speaking. that, but you had Stefan <laughs> next to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, she's like, what's a pum pum? I can't, I can't be dealing with that right now. I can't be dealing with that right now. I can't be dealing with that uh, now. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, so look, you, you start with what you okay. have and then we'll, we'll, we'll carry on just, okay uh, i'm gonna go with some positives wallahi. i'm gonna go with some positives first so obviously bitta scored against latvia uh, so, so it, 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 was a, it was a good goal i think it was a good goal especially the cross from loizu the determination and the cross from loizu bitta comes in uh gets across his defender to to poke the ball into the net very good goal. That means he's on the same number of goals as Costantino Magridi, Jorgo Efrem, uh, my my mate Avram with uh, with the goal with the equalising goal against Portugal in injury time that four all, and uh, and and uh, Nicodemos Pabavasiliu. So you know, there's, there's 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 a few names that he's gone in there with. Now that sounds. Um, very impressive, especially with Baba Vasily, you know, playing for Newcastle as well. Until you find out that the stat is that they've all scored five goals for the ethnic. <laughs> just, just, to, just to put that into perspective, right? Bitas's dad has got two more goals for the ethnic than Bitas has, and uh, Bitas Senior was a defender. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, somebody was somebody was saying who was saying to me that um, uh, when uh, Costantino and Ocas were about, uh, Gibro only had a forward line. Bitta was a defender. Anyway, um, again, another positive. 
goals were worked. Um, now, now, yes, yeah, the the equalizer for Latvia. Now, the ball watching for that goal was unbelievable. Don't leave that. Don't leave that comment hanging up there. It's gonna kill my nerves even more. <laughs> no, no, get that out. Get that out. <laughs> Good is better. <laughs> <laughs> I like it instead of good evening. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Um the, so the Latvia equalizing goal, the ball watching was unbelievable. So uh especially on the uh Cypriot left hand side as the cross came in from Latvia. Um I'm not saying who is but we all know whose fault it is. Like I, I watched it like four or five times to try and find to try and be like, no, I'm not going to be. It, it can't be. It can't be just him. But no, it is just him, right? The the player. I'm not going to mention his name. The player is on his own, and as the Latvian player kind of sat outside the box, and he's watching the ball. He's watching the cross that's about to come in. And then he runs to try and header it, even though there was a defender, a forward, and another defender in front of him that could have got to it. So the forward tests it down, and he just he just stands there and waits for the uh, winger to come in and shoot. Oh, blimey. Yeah. So anyway, so that's that goal, the one against Latvia. Now, anyway... Before we go to Serbia, to the Serbia game, I want to bring up something that I spoke about in great detail on Twitter for people. But he uh, had, gets by, had a bit of a paddy after the game. Uh, oh, did yeah, he now? He, remember? So he's always got to pick someone to blame. And this oh. time he's blaming the players because, and I quote, we can't do anything. We just take players from the teams. But when the players are not playing, it is difficult to ask them to be ready at these national team levels. So, is he right? I'm sure he said this before. Right. So, here we go. Here we go. I know, we're we're myth-busting again. Okay, let's go. Let's let's roll with it. Joel Moll, right, as Servette, he's got... The most he's got, he's got. I think he's got like the second or the third most clean sheets in the season in the Swiss Super League. Team. Yeah, yeah. Swiss Super League. Anyway, Hamburg Giriago is our Bolon captain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Garo has been playing all season for Offi Crete, and since his transfer to Israel, he's also been playing every game for that every team. Game. He's been playing for as well. Oh. Life is. Life has been a standard year for how long? And he's almost the first name on the team sheet every time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gogitz, right? We've seen St. Mirren fans. Best player at St. Mirren this season. Yeah. St. Mirren fans have been calling it all season. He's, he's been their best player. Um, Dickhead, whose name I'm not going to mention, plays at Anorthosis. Even, even if he does play so poor for them, he still plays for them every week. Kusulos mm-hmm. and Haralambos. Are at Ammonia and Rigs. they're playing week in, week out. Bitas has just come off a cup run to the semi finals for Aik in Sweden. Gibriano starts every game for Peterborough. Ruel Sodirio was on form for Leighton Orient. Gavriel has started every game since signing for Zulta Varagem in Belgium. You can't keep you can't keep Stelios Andreu out of Charleroi's first eleven in the top league in Belgium. And Bileas has been doing great at Panserai Gos. Right. All these players. So, playing which team football players, pray tell, is he talking about? I which players is that? he talking about? <laughs> Bro, I, 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 I'm actually starting to worry about the guy's mental health. It, like, is he is he all there? Like, honestly, he's is not, he all there? Is, he's he, not, is, he? is he drunk? He's, it, honestly. There's, there's something wrong with him. Right. And then, and then this is this is this is the there's another bit on top of that, right? Because mm. then he was asked if he had anything to say to the people of Cyprus, mm. uh, and he basically, yeah, he got his, he got his shotgun and just went. Poof, poof, poof. Every single one of 
you. Every one of you. I did not see people here. Did you see people? People must come. It's the national team. People should love the national team. The people don't love the national team. That's why we are here in this situation. I've got a response for you, you bold fraud. It's not the national team they don't love. It's, it's you. you. It's you. It's you. Yeah. Ah, ah. Okay. Bold terrorist. Let, let me, let me Blofeld. Just break it down. Let me just break it down. Blofeld. Mr. Mr. Ketspire is adamant that the fans do not love the national team. Now, perhaps there's an element of truth to that. Because even before his arrival, the attendances weren't great. And if memory serves me correct, the attendances haven't been great for a long time. However, I'm pretty certain, in fact, I'm about 95% certain that if, if the teams that were selected had some attacking elements to it or some attacking intent, the attendances would go up. Because while the results might not be great, and they might get thrashed every game, at least you you go there knowing you're going to see two up front or maybe three up front or maybe four in midfield, maybe four at the back or even three at the back. But when you know that it's going to be either 4-5-1 or 5-4-1, what's the point in going? What is the point? Because I'm going to sidestep a little bit. No disrespect to Latvia, okay? Because they should have won the game, to be honest. But when you're playing the likes of Latvia at home, go for it. And it's a friendly game. So it's not going to affect your, uh, your ranking. It's not going to affect anything, is it? It's a well, friendly no, game. The, so there's still the coefficients. So you still go right. up and down the coefficients based on the results. But yeah, it's not going to affect qualification for a tournament. No. Anymore. Okay. Yeah. So what's wrong with with maybe, maybe playing two up front? You have Sodiril, Ilia, Gavril, Pitta. Was Gago even in the squad? Gago was, was yeah. in the squad. You've got five strikers. Five strikers. And even up until the end of the Serbia game, he still had one up top. The guy is, I'm going to say it now, and I don't care if the CFA write to us or, or someone messages me, the guy is doing all he can to get sacked, to get that payout, and he can spend the rest of his days going to whichever nightclubs he goes to or doing whatever he does in his private life because he doesn't care. He should not have got the job in the first place. I'm not going to go into why I think he got the job. The fact is, he hardly played any Cypriot players while he was at Anorthosi. Why does he get the national team job? There are reasons, which again, I'm not going to go into because I don't want to get sued, right? But the fact is, he does not belong on that bench for the national team, okay? He does not belong there. And I don't care who's making the decisions. They need to get rid ASAP, sharpish, get rid because they're not doing anything, anything to help this national team. In fact, there are players that are being called up that probably don't even want to be there. Okay? Yep. And and, and again, I, I think my opinion, it's conjecture, my opinion is there are some players that have been called up that even he didn't want to be called up. And I'm sure that there are players going to be called up in the next squad that he doesn't want. Because if he, if he could, if he could... He would probably try and nationalize a whole bag of Georgians and put them in the national team. <laughs> he needs to go. He needs to go. I, needs I, to I think as a podcast, right, we have a responsibility. Yeah. Because the things that we say are heard, right? We need to start a campaign. Get him out. I've been asking people. I've been asking people. <laughs> Just go. get the F out. Yes, yes, because yeah, that's 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 a great. It's a pun, 
and it's got like a connotation of drugs in there as well, so it's even better. <laughs> Get out. Get out, you bold terrorist. And we know about... Ah, there it is. There it is. There it is. Get that on a scarf. Or if you don't want to say that, you could just go KTFO. There you go. KTFO. There you go. Get or, the F out. Or as as our friend Skuval is saying. Oh, yes. 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 How do, I, I missed the trick here. I missed the trick. There you go. Now. Exactly. Should we? Should we? Should we move on to the Serbia game? Before we do that, yeah, there was some good news. Obviously, we we saw Bitar scoring his goal. Of course, but there was a proud moment for us. There was a very, very, very proud moment because we've been crying out for this lad. Congratulations, real man. Safe flight back. Yeah, honestly, but hey, KTFO, get the f out. Yep. Yep. So, shall we go to the Serbia game, or shall we talk about oh. the pre-match conference for the? For oh, the go for the pre-match first, and then we'll go to the. Oh, yeah. So, um, they had the pre-match conference, and they put it. And the Cyprus FA have this thing of we're going to do the pre-match conference. We're going to put it live on YouTube. So you know, I drop in to tune in to see who's going to ask him some questions. Um. Except, so for once, I agree with Getzbaya on this. Except, no one, no one showed up to the pre-match conference. <sighs> no, no journalists or reporters showed up to the pre-match conference, and and he took them to he, he, he proper. He was proper pissed off about it. And I agree with him about that, to tell you the truth. Because, right? Because Gerkida, for instance, right? Gerkida, their reporters, have got these press passes. They can go and in, and ask a question of Gets Bayer. They can go there and take him to account. But instead, they don't go. And then afterwards, they uh, click, 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 click. Oh, yeah, oh, it gets by uh, uh, complaining about no journalists there. That's not what you should be complaining about, mate. Question. There was nobody from Supersport, nobody from Kathy Merinirik, Citavision, CableNet, anybody, anybody. There was no one there. There was no one there to ask him what the fuck you're talking about it, uh, after the game against Latvia. There was nobody to go... Coach, coach, first of all, uh, after the game with Latvia, you complained that the Cypriot players you selected don't play first-team football for their teams and that you can't do anything with them and it is difficult to ask them to be ready for these games. Considering all 11 of your first-team players have played a high percentage of games for their teams this season, what the fuck you on about, mate? Yeah? Then, you know, you'd watch him go... <laughs> And then you say, no, coach, that's rubbish, right? But instead, you reporters are like... Mm. Ah. The thing is, right, no, even, even though there's no one there challenging him, right, from the press, you mean to say that no one from the CFA is challenging him behind closed doors? Really? No, no one? No, there won't be. Dude, no. This is absolutely insane. It's insane. Yeah. It's insane. Honestly, and uh, this, this is my question to all the viewers and the listeners, right? Number one, get together the ones that uh, arranged it, yeah? What? No, yeah? no, no, no. So this is the pre-match press conference that they're supposed right. to do. But get together, didn't go, right? And then well, wrote a little op-ed about it afterwards. Right. Well, listen, I need to know, number one, how do you get access to these press conferences? Number two, is there a way of asking questions online? And number three, right, I want I want to know when these press conferences go live. And I want the CFA to unlock the comments and in the live chat. I want people to be able to put the chat because this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. In fact, I'm actually thinking of just 
creating an email and sending it to the CFA. Shall we do it? Just, yeah, we just can do put that. some stats together, some facts together, and send it over to them. And then what yeah. we'll do, in fact, we'll do it. What we'll do, we've got from now to next week. Uh, well, you and I will yeah, sit down well, together. Yeah. Yeah. We'll sit down together. We'll put an email together. You got all the stats there. Just send them over to me. And then I'll, I'll devise an email. You and I can go through it. And then on Wednesday night on the show, we'll send it. We'll send yeah. it live. 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 Yeah, because I'm, 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 I'm getting tired because it's not just it's not just he says what he wants. There's no there's no one to make him accountable for the shit he's saying. Yeah. There's yeah. no one. There's no one. Journalists are not doing their job either. This is this is so it's not just him. He's he's doing everything wrong. But journalists are like. Yeah, but do you think it's come to the point where the journalists are thinking, well, what's the point? Because he's going to feed us the same rubbish and nothing's going to be done about it. So they're like, what's the point? Yeah, the there's, point? there's reporters, right, that go to the press conferences after the game when, all respect to Docs and Garmodisa, but when Docs and Garmodisa are playing against each other, right? Hmm. And I'm pretty sure there's more people interested in somebody being held accountable for the national team than they would be for, say, I don't know, Othello. So you, you keep you keep repeating the questions. You keep repeating the questions until he either answers it or he storms off. Yeah, either way. It will be the latter. It'll wait, if latter. he storms off... You've got your headlines. You've got your headlines. He stormed out. You've got your massive headline there. He stormed out because he wouldn't answer our question. Yeah. Either way, you're getting headlines. I mean, look, the guy's an abomination. I'm he sorry. Is. And, you know, I don't know who's watching from the CFA. I don't know if anyone is watching. If, if I don't even think he's watching. But I'm going to put the StreamYard link here. If anyone is watching from the CFA, you're more than welcome to join us right now. Join us. Come and talk to us. Come and talk to us. Tell us what's going on. In fact, Mr. Katspire, if you're watching, which I doubt you are, you're probably out doing whatever you're doing. Maybe you're, I don't know, sitting by the beach with a ice cream in your hand, crying because you're not the Georgia national team head coach and they're going to the Euros and you're not. Yeah. Maybe you could just come on, jump on your phone, do it. Come on. You're more than welcome to. You know, Thassel keeps saying you've got no balls. Show us. Well, we've heard that you've got balls. You're well. You're, you're well. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna say. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. There you go. Uh, I don't remember them losing any other press conference before. They don't even know what a podcast is. Yeah, they probably don't. To be honest, they're too busy on the radio or something, playing with a transistor radio. Jimunda, yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yep. So anyway, people, yeah. anyway, that was the rant about that bit. So now, do you want to put on screen the formation that I kind of jokingly put on Twitter? Ah, yes, yes. I've got yes, it. Yes, I've yes. got it in the notes there for people to have a look at. Yeah, it was too small, so I um, I decided ah. to bring up your Twitter and said, "There you go." Yeah. So there you go. Uh, there, there was the formation that I guessed he was going to play, and I was almost <laughs> correct. The almost, only yeah. one that he didn't play was Artimadas, and I'm very surprised. Very surprised didn't start with acting like this. But yeah. Mm. Yes. So there you go. That that formation, that was basically how we lined up against Serbia. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um he's too busy complaining about the aircon. <laughs> <How's he be? laughs> well, he, he didn't he want I remember this when he was uh Unrothesy coach, he blamed the smoke from a, a uh, Daverna across the road getting into the locker room. Oh, he blamed the smoke. Sake. For God's sake. Oh my God. <laughs> Imagine the reporter showing him this image at a press conference. <laughs> it's, it's embarrassing, man. It's embarrassing. You know, we're going to put a, a, together a dossier of his um, misdemeanors. And, uh, oh, mate, honestly, honestly, the, it's ridiculous. It I'm is. telling you, at this point, he just wants to get sacked. 
It, it, he is doing it on purpose, isn't it? The things that he says, the, the formations, everything. And he's got the cheats to turn around and blame everyone. He doesn't hold himself accountable ever. Ever. Yeah. Ever. Thoughts about Nigo Banayodu. Yeah. Got more chance of finding shit under rock and also in playing for the national team under this guy. Uh, why was losers so high? <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 counter attack there, counter attack. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. So I mean let's let's do some again, let's do some positives. Joel yes. Moll is a god among men. That's two penalties he's saved now in two games. Yep. Uh that the penalty we considered against Serbia, that wasn't a penalty. I, that wasn't even close to a penalty, man. I don't know how the mm. ref gave it. But anyway. Um the uh, and the second half, like you said, okay, Serbia didn't get out of second gear, but there, I I noticed an improvement in our performance in the second half, and it kind of went with life is kind of pushing forward a little bit and playing more like a Kostadinov type role, where he was spraying the ball about every time he'd get it, like he was playing the ball out quickly, out into space. And players were running onto it, and you were getting more counter attacks from players like Loizu and Bitta and uh, Dickhead on the left, except he kept giving the ball away. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, that, well, that, no, okay. Uh, that's, that's basically it for positives. So, negatives. Uh, there was a free kick that was conceded needlessly f- for Serbia's goal. Um, yes. on the left hand side of Cyprus's defense, uh, uh, someone put in a very rushed tackle, even though there was a Cypriot defender in front of the guy running with the ball at the time. Could you be more specific? I cannot be more specific than that, but yeah, um, uh, but the, t- the whole team defensively was asleep for Serbia's goal. I stop flashing it up and down. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say his name. I'm not going to. I'm not going to give his name the time of day anymore. I'm oh. tired. I'm. I'm tired. I'm tired of. You're seeing... being very cool. <laughs> yes, I'm tired of seeing his face. His that face that he does as well when he does something wrong, and he knows he's done something wrong, and he's looking for somebody else, and when he can't see anybody else to blame, he goes. Now, in the second half against Serbia, near the end, right, he's got the ball in our defensive corner flag. Mm-hmm. What, and, he's, and he's got pressure coming from, from Serbian forwards, right? What do you do? Yeah. What, you do what do you do then? You put your foot through the ball. Mm. Get it out. No, what he did, right, he tried to dribble it past one of them. Uh, I played it too far forward once he dribbled it past him. But because he's like 32 and the, the Serbian bench had like 20, 20, 22, 23 year olds, played the ball too far forward when he took it past the one forward, just put it on a plate for the second forward. Mm-hmm. Now they didn't do anything with it in the end, but they, you know, anybody, you know, if, if there was a, a better Serbian player, on the end of that, that's it. It would have been a goal. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It, anyway, anyway, I've not mentioned this is like name, a this is this is, is like a coroner's report. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, a bit corny. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I wonder if he went to the Limassol Carnival. <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to stop, right? I just wanted to stop. Uh, gets by, gets by a Populeas on again, right? And guess where uh-huh. you put him? Left, left wing? Left wing. Uh, eh? For the last okay. five minutes. Who makes a substitution with five minutes left of a fucking friendly? You make a substitution, 60 minutes, half time. So, all right, 70 minutes. You give your guys... 20 minutes at least. You can watch him for 20 minutes do something. No, he puts Bilas on with five minutes left of the game. And Gagulli. Yeah? 
Bitas, yeah. this is this is this is how I know the players the players are agreeing with us, right? Because Bitas came off, right, and gets by. tried to hug him, and he was looking in the opposite, like he was looking at Engomidi and being like, yeah, 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 yeah Engomidi, and it, it gets by on him like this, and he's he's trying to trying to brush him off. Ah, uh, so I guess his relationship is corroding. Uh, um, andere. Adere, but Andere. Anyway. Yeah, very good. Yeah. yeah. Did he even call Sergio? Well, no. he, he might do next season if the lad goes to Armonia. <clears throat> no. No. Andoni Sodirio. He didn't call Sergio up. Uh, he called one right back up, yeah, who's a player at Apollo now who plays for like five minutes every three games. Yeah. Figliodi. And that right back played zero minutes in the friendlies. Instead, he played Hambos Giriago in that position, right? Right wing back, right wing and back. Then, and then he took Giriago off, right? And in his position, he put Chrysostomo, right? another central midfielder, in the same place. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a question here, Rectal or Timur. I'd play Rek- I'd have Rectal because Rectal plays four at the back. Yeah. <laughs> four, one, four, one. <laughs> Instead of eight, two. Yes. Or nine, one. Yeah. As unbel- you know, unbelievable the tactics he was playing for this friendly, for these friendlies. The other thing he said as well is he was going to give minutes to players he don't doesn't normally play to see how they play. Hmm. Yeah. So, how many of that first eleven that we had on screen there have not played many minutes for the Cypriot national team? Hmm. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. I'm looking. I'm looking there to see if anybody, uh, anybody news there. Nobody's new news there for the first for the first eleven. Nope. So they all got what twenty minutes? A bit longer than that. 20, I'll, I'll give him that. I'll, I'll give. I'll give terrible got Tim that. They got half an hour. Okay. Chris Ostomo got five minutes. It was on Thursday, wasn't it? Thursday yeah. was it? Thursday. Thursday. The, the, yeah, Thursday and Mon- Thursday and Monday. <sighs> right. Uh, Gabriel. Gabriel. How many how many minutes did Gavril get? He came on the same as Ruel, 62, 62nd. Mm. Bilea came on with 12 minutes to go. Yeah. Mario is right with his last comment here that Artimatas has more no, he does have more minutes for the national team than Arthosi this season because he only has 45 minutes for Arthosi this season. Mm. And he's got more than that in these two games. However, in the Serbia game, he played very well. Well, the players that came on against Serbia were Gibrianu, Spoljaric, Artimata, Chrysostomu, Pilea and Gagulli. So, Spoljaric as well had a good game. I think. Mm. So, those two, so Spoljaric and Artimata had good games. But yeah, and look, you, you look at you look at the bench, right? The players that didn't come on. Um, Ilya, <laughs> one of the top goal scorers, separate goal scorers. Bango. Okay, Gavril didn't come on. Fair enough. He played Pana. Banoyodo was on the bench. Although I'm not complaining because at least he's not going to come back injured. Um, Antoniades. <laughs> <sighs> Malaga, like honestly, what can I tell you, man? What what, what can I tell you? It's 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 a disaster. It's, it and, is. And do you know what? The the more these results happen, the more people say these players ain't good enough. It's not on the players. It's not on the players. I'm sorry. Like, all right. On the one hand, you can say, oh, well, they're not motivated enough. They should be motivated to play for the national team. But I'm sorry. It happens with every national team over the years. We've seen it. So even the even the Dutch. 
when Van Hal was was head coach before they got to the World Cup final in, in 2010, his first reign when they didn't qualify for was it the World Cup or the Euros? So it was a World Cup. They down tools for him. How can you have this brother? I'm sorry, like how? Ella, when you go to the CFA to get your coaching badges, educators present you with a plan. This plan is what they would ideally want you to play for the national team, as well as what player profile they want. Right, so Sean Dutch could get us to the Euro finals, the, the champion. I, 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 I agree. I agree because Sean Dutch will play with two up front. You know, play with wingers. You know, but you, you know, you mentioned the the profile. You know, this is what. The, do you really think? That the CFA have turned around and they said to Tim, Tim, we want you to play five at the back. We want to play four in midfield and one up top. But yet you can call up five strikers. It's... I dream of the day I see a front three of Johnny's Bita Loizu and having long balls from Gastano and the Tempers. Bro, like, okay. Well, I, I, I dream of seeing a 4-4-2 maybe. I, I, you know, I, I wouldn't even have a problem with Bitter as a as a second striker, in kind of like a number ten role, with Rua up front. I wouldn't mind seeing that. Yeah, I'm not going to so, see it. Not with this guy. He needs to go. KTFO. Yeah. And for those well, again because... who are watching just now, get the f out. KTFO. Because right, I keep looking. You could. Play a five at the back system, right? That he wants to play and still be a lot more attacking than he is, right? So, for instance, right wing back, you could have Loizu. The CFA plan is to play modern expansion football. They want coaches to be able to coach players to play modern football, attack in every opportunity, and also press high when needed. Well, that's all very well and good, but. <laughs> If you get the players to, if you model the players to be the kind of players to play <laughs> that kind of system, and then you put a snail in charge of the national team, then it's you're, you're trying to hammer a square peg into a circular hole. I agree. But I'll tell you what, there is one man that will certainly follow that criteria. Oh, that is a good shout. He's out of work right now. He He's is. got variation. You want three at the back, you'll play three at the back. You want four at the back, you'll play four at the back. This and guy is you. a winner. Yeah, He's a <laughs> winner. You. He's a winner. He, he, he got Salamina promoted at a canter in Division 2. Yeah, and he, he he kept them in the first division by playing some incredible football that I, that I don't think Salamina have ever played. Yeah, mm -hmm. Bursa, bring him in, ASA. You know, it's it's just, it's it's beyond a joke now. It is having this guy. Any you know the, the CFA complain? Oh, we're not having people turning up at the the arena. Whoa, well, would you expect? There were more Serbian fans than. Cypriot fans. Yep. There are more Latvian fans than Cypriot fans. Yeah, like when you watch, when you watch, I watch, was watching the Latvia game and I could hear people go, Latvia, Latvia, Latvia. Yeah. Yep. But I don't know where the communication is lost between the CFA and coaching school and CFA men's team. Yeah, I, th I think you and I are going to have to start on this fucking email tonight, bro. <laughs> I'll, I'll, get, I'll get some stats up. I'll start with that first 11 bollocks about him saying like, oh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know uh, how we can play this when the players that we're picking aren't playing for their teams. Pana Lifey, Gabriel Norma, ideal back three, what's yours? Well... What's your, actually, I think we've done this before, but let's do it again. Yeah, What's your ideal 11? Your ideal 11. So, I'm going to go, again, I'm going to go with the, the, the five, the five, four, one, but I've kind of, I've, I've drawn, I've drawn it, I've drawn it there. It's more like a three banks of three. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I think I'm missing something there. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm missing a player there somewhere. What am I going to do there? Goalkeeper. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, I know I've got it. I've got it. So, goalkeeper. I've seen some comments say that uh, we shouldn't be playing Mal in goal. Mal is the best goalkeeper we've got available to us at the moment. I agree. He's playing, I agree. He's, he's playing for the team that are second in the Swiss Super League, and he's starting every league game for them, right? Considering yep. Servette's captain is their goalkeeper, and that's not Moll, it's a guy called Frick, right? And he's only and he was only he's only been playing European and Cup games. So he's keeping the captain out of that team. Mm -hmm. Right? He's the best he's the best goalkeeper we have. Now the middle three in defence, I would have Laifis, I would have uh, Gibriano, I'd, I'd have Garo. Because okay. Garo has a lot of experience playing in the back three. Because I think that's what Offi were playing as well this season. Mm -hmm. And then Bileas, our left wing back. And then Sergio, our right wing back. Mm -hmm. Defensive midfield, got Gogitz. Yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah, and then in the center, two humbles. Okay. Yeah, and uh, Gastano, and then Bita okay. up front. No. Oh. Because if you've got the two humbles, Gastano is more free to move around a bit rather than stay in defense. And what you've got there is you've got three banks of three. You're not putting flat back five you're not got you you can you can fill the spaces with those three banks of three okay what about you you want to play four at the back so that's the first i'm going i'm going i'm going bias fc i'm going oh, you're, going to, you're, going to, you're going to fill it off you're going to fill it full of all money our players and then ruel oh, somewhere no no, no. molingo mm -hmm. back four sergio Mm -hmm. Hector, mm -hmm. Gogitz, Bilea, yeah. midfield, right wing, Loizu, left wing, Johnny's, two in midfield, Omonias, Humbo, and Morgan Brown. Nationalize him. He, yeah. He, he's, yeah. Wait, he, wait. He yeah. Two up front, but mm -hmm. obviously Bitta as free role because mm -hmm. we've seen him do it at a bottom. Yeah. And he's an, an out striker AIK. In fact, if you watch his goals, he starts from deep and he makes yeah. late runs into the box. Him and Ruel, you've got a team. You've got a team with energy, players that can play ball. You've got aggression, especially in the middle of the park and at centre back, because those two central defenders, they play in the UK. We don't fuck about out here. Nope. We don't fuck about out here. The two fullbacks can get forward, they can deliver crosses. They're dangerous from wide areas. The two wide men, John is. We know he's got energy. He can track back. He can win the ball. Good on the counter attack. He's got a shot on him. We know about Loizu. We know about his work rate. Mm -hmm. And the two two guys up front, they score goals. And both of them can actually drop deep as well because Ruel yep. does that at Leighton Orient. Give and go. Drop deep. One one touch layoff. Spin and run. Get off the defender's shoulder, and he's quick. And you know what? If by some miracle. They can twist Marcus Edwards' arm hard enough because it doesn't look like he's going to get in the England squad anytime soon. He's going to want to play for our national team. Inshallah, we can turn around and get him in. <laughs> Without this brother as head coach? Yeah. Get rid. Get rid. Get him out. KTFO. So, yeah. there's your team. Yep. There's your team. And do you know what? Even the bench is pretty decent. Even the bench, the players that we missed out. Gusulo, Hambo Giriago, Gastano, even Gaguli as well. And people are gonna laugh because I keep saying, like, Gaguli, if he as a striker, he needs to be able to score goals, right? And his finishing is the only thing that lets him down. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Okay, his hold up play isn't great, but I don't expect that from him because he's not that kind of player. He's the striker that plays off the defender's shoulder. He's one of the quickest, one of the fastest strikers in Europe, and it's a fact. 
statistically, he's one of the fastest in Europe. It's a fact. Yeah? Takes yeah. kills, as Rodri Giggs tells me. So, you have him on the bench. Ilya on the bench as well. Mario Ilya, exactly. Right, and he will get he will get games. He'll get games in my team, come off the bench, for sure. For sure. Defensive, what, we've got enough players defensively. Panna, yeah. you got him there. What 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 is it? What is this? Why is it that we can see this and we ain't got our coaching badges? Dickhead, bro. All right. Usha. Hmm. Usha. Right. Yes. So that is uh, the internationals. At least Cyprus. There was a certain thing that happened between Greece and Georgia as well. Greece went out to Georgia on penalties. Uh, Kvili Daya, Daya and Diwali were in the Georgian team. I think uh, Diwali took a penalty as well and scored. So, mm. uh, well done to those guys. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it for international news, unless you want to carry on with the KTFO. No, not really. Um, but there's something I don't think you put on your notes, and it might um be relevant to some people that are watching live and that's the okay. um the alleged new stadium on one year ah yes y- yes shall we quickly yes. touch on that because i did something in the members area today for the Omonia fans we, but we, I'm, I'm... we can yeah we can touch on it so yeah. fifteen thousand rumored uh capacity right yeah too big yeah too big. If Abuel said fifteen thousand, I'd say it's too big because there's a certain amount of maintenance that goes into a stadium like that, right? Mm-hmm. Especially if it's not in use. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the amount of security that you need in a stadium where large swathes of it isn't in use, you'd need additional security just in case people sneak in or or sneak stuff in. And then yep. they go and find it later and cause some havoc, yeah. So you need additional security for that kind of stuff. So and you'd need electricity because yeah. if this stadium is how I didn't mention this earlier, if this stadium turns out how people think it's going to be or it's reported, you're going to have various other leisure um, companies. So you you might even have coffee shops, you get might have restaurants, all that kind of stuff. And you got to think about the pricing. Then that's the other, that's the other uh, side of things. In the sense that, how much a ticket price is going to be? Yep. Would, would, would if you want to wait until you get to the stadium to buy food, how much is it going to cost? Like you could go to a coffee shop half a mile away from the stadium and get a coffee for maybe three euros. You go to the stadium, you're paying six or seven euros. Now, what about if you go with a family of two or three, if you've got kids with you, you know, certainly the club are probably going to do something like children's activities within the stadium because the kids ain't going to want to hang around a coffee shop. They'd rather go to the stadium and, and play. So you're going to have to pay extra for that. So yep. everything you're paying through the nose, right? And people are complaining that the stadium is not going to be more than 15,000. Well, as I said in the members area, I'm going to bring it up now. I've got some video footage, or should I say screenshots, of some of Omonia's recent games. This is the stadium. Look at those blue seats in the corner. White seats and blue seats. More blue seats. This is against Ethnigo. Garmiodisa, white seats. A- again, Ael, white seats. Aez, white seats. Bafo, white and blue seats. Anorthosi, white seats. Othello, empty, empty. How can you tell me, right, that you want a bigger stadium for what? One or two derby games and maybe a European game? No, you're right. You're right. Right. Pedro, maybe I'm overpricing. Okay, in what sense? And I'm basing this, again, again, it's probably a bad comparison. I'm basing this on what's happening in the UK with the football yep. stadiums. As I mentioned earlier, you go to Tottenham, what new White Hart Lane, 60,000 seat stadium, one of the best, if not the best in Europe for now, right? Spurs fans are paying seven, eight, nine, ten pounds for a cup of beer 
which is watered down. Do you honestly believe that this club ain't going to do the same? You get a bottle of girl, it might be how many euros plus or outside. You go to, I don't know, you go to Beriptera or whatever. Three I don't euros, know. four euros. I don't know. I don't yeah. drink. Haram. But you're going to go to the stadium. It's going to be watered down for a start. Mm-hmm. And you're going to pay double. I'm telling you. Americanization. First of all, beer is not allowed in separate stadiums. Okay, well, outside then. Outside. Because it's not inside. You're going to have these little kiosks where they're going to sell beer. You can't take it in, so you could drink it outside. Mm-hmm. They work around it. Okay, you can't drink it inside. Inside the stadium. But no one, you're not actually inside the stadium when you're in the concourse bit or just that. Second, to get seven euro coffee, you need to go to the most part. Yeah, but this this is what I'm tell, this is what I'm trying to explain to you, bro. I understand it's the, you know, uh, you have to go to the most posh place, but this is what they're gonna do. It might not be immediately, but within the first couple of seasons, these prices are gonna go, especially if you've got a Starbucks in there or a Costa. I'm telling you. I'm yeah. telling you. But what it. Yeah, it's for me. It's uh, also so. Not only you're not going to fill that stadium, but if you do, logistically, logistically, look at look at the Alfa Mera, for instance, right? That's eleven thousand. Yeah, you get seven thousand yeah. people there. Yeah, there's there's a car accident that happens a mile away, and that's it. Everybody might as well camp for the night. Hmm. It's it's so imagine if the if as well this is a place that doesn't have that much infrastructure around it at the moment. Say say for instance, like someone's building a stadium outside Gokino Trimisia, for instance. Mm. Right? There isn't that much infrastructure around there to deal with the influx of people that will be coming in and out at one moment in time. What happens? when everybody comes in or leaves at the same time and that stadium doesn't provide for enough parking spaces because of European law. No? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's exactly it. Uh, that's exactly. So um, for me, 12,000... 12,000 max. The, the biggest stadium in Cyprus should hold 12,000 people. Look, on, on the flip side, it, it will probably create more jobs. Yep. Probably. And we're not that's, just talking about... Sure. Yeah, I mean, we're not just talking about um, you know, staff working within these coffee shops or whatever. We're talking about you know uh, cleaners. We're talking about electricians. or whatever. I, I, I get it. And whoever's got the air con... Contract like it might be the same guy that's got the Gazi B and, and I don't know who I know. I'm not going to mention his name and how I know him, but you know, he might get the contract because he does all the pizza hearts and everything. I mean, Bedros says here, season tickets he reckons there'll be four and five hundred euro, and then you get discounted prices in the thing. Right, I get it, I get it. You know, and that, that's a possibility because on one of your fans, have, you know, they've got the uh, privilege card and you get discounts. I get it, but there will come a point where the prices are going to slowly, slowly go up and people are going to start complaining and people aren't going to want to go because they can't afford it because of the disposable income. And it's understandable. Now, if they're if they're being serious, the club, and they understand their fan base and they understand the culture and the mentality, they'll do things in a way that's right and fair. But there's no such thing as fairness in business. It comes down to the bottom dollar. That's what it boils down to. It's all it boils down to. And you know what? The first few years, yes, people are going to come because it's a novelty. It's a new stadium. It's something that's that's important to me. It's, it's for the club. It isn't like the Alpha Mega where you've got Abolon and two other clubs sharing it and it, there's no sense of belonging. It's not like, oh, it's our stadium. It's our place. It's like, oh, I'm just sharing it. Yeah, it's no? it's why Suffolk Glows went off on one when they opened the Alpha Mega Stadium and they did the press conference. They did like right. big press junket. And Suffolk Glows, when he was chairman at AL, uh, he, he was not um, 
he was not happy with it. <laughs> but yeah, um, Petros just put up a comment there saying 12 is too low, Thassel. We already have 10k season tickets. Okay, there's 10k. What there's 10k season tickets, right? So why don't you have 10,000 at uh, a game when you're playing versus Doc Southern? Why don't you have 10,000 when up again? Yeah. Why don't you have 10,000 when you're playing against uh, Ethnic or even, you know, I don't. Bafo. Bafo, yeah. There's, so there's a lot. There's, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot of issues there, right? Because I don't. Listen. 12 with. Okay, let me let me let me put it a different way, right? I worked out that in the 2021-22 season, right, with all the, the clubs, the, the the grounds that they were using, and the people attending matches at these grounds. Remember, the attendance was low uh, compared to other seasons, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, in that season, and I comp- I, I did a pro rata. Uh, increase based off of the UK population, right? If the same population, if the same percentage of the population went to Premier League games, the way people go to games in Gibraltar, right? You'd need to fill 12 Old Traffords. Yeah? So, you tell me a league, you tell me a league that requires 12 Old Traffords. Even the Premier League doesn't know. have 12 Old Traffords. Bournemouth play in a ground that's what, 15,000? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Yeah. You know. Doesn't matter if you have them or not since the seats are sold. From the moment oh, yeah. you get the money from the but seats, then... you must get. Right, yeah, but that's that's guaranteed revenue. There's a difference. Yeah. There's a difference. And when people start seeing the prices, yeah. But like a lot of people, you know, a lot a lot of times after no chofters, right? You go uh and uh Roy and Bedro talk about the atmosphere at the ground, right? Saying that, you know, the atmosphere wasn't great at the ground because uh, if you're not selling if you're not getting butts in seats, the atmosphere at the ground, doesn't matter which ground you go to, is going to be shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah? You want a full ground, because when you have a full ground, there's a lot of noise, and it makes it a fortress for the home team. Yeah? For instance, for all the will in the world, right, Ari... I've got the Alfa Mera and they maybe have what maybe a thousand people go there a week. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. And the Alfa Mera sounds deserted when they play sometimes. Because you're only you're only filling it up ten percent. Yeah, the bigger you make the stadium, the less full you, it's going to be, and the less atmosphere there's going to be. But what do I know? What do I know? Shall we? Sh- shall we move off this? Because I think I'm all I'm doing. <laughs> all I'm doing is pissing Pedro off. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, let's go. Let's go to some more. Um, let's, let's do, well, let's go to some more discussions of money. Let me mm-hmm. keep it. Let's keep it rolling <clears throat> with the segues. Yes. So, um, do people remember uh, Garavida, Doxa's president, saying, "As long as I am president, Doxa will not be relegated." Skanda! Yeah. Exactly. Exactly, because um, this week, 
Like I think they decided to announce it specifically during the international break so people wouldn't point at it too much. Um, this week, Voxar announced a raffle for a 50cc scooter costing 20 euros a ticket as part of a financial drive. Did Garavida do his best angry frog and just get on the thing and... <laughs> so, <laughs> so they, did, they posted they posted a, a kind of a weird social uh, video on their social media where it was basically Garavida almost kind of reading out an announcement and then kind of pulling over to the guy on the side on the side uh, and uh, so you talk yeah you, like. you talk <laughs> you talk come on um, and they basically announced this giveaway hmm yeah. And what do you have to do problems. to get in, in this giveaway? Oh, oh, um, you could buy a coupon for 20 yes. euros. Oh, 20 I might euros. do that. Yeah. I might do that. Yeah, you want a 50cc scooter? Yeah, why not? Listen, if we win, we can put it in our giveaway. Ah, exactly. Yeah, put it in the 50. I'll no, tell I'll you put what. it in the one. No, no, I'll put no. it in the one. 20, 20. We we win. Uh, how do I, right? actually? How, how, how do you how do you enter? How do you enter? I don't know. You just buy a lachno. You just buy a raffle ticket. From where? I don't know. I'll need to look it up. What, the, the, the information isn't good enough. Well, they didn't put they didn't put any information on where to buy it. They just oh, said you let me can buy go it. on their Instagram. I mean, sure, have they put anything on the Instagram? Put anything on the Instagram? Yes, it's on the Instagram. Uh... So yeah, um, while oh it, it it's it's on their it's on their first uh it's, it's on their website as well. It's on their uh, website. Yeah. Let me have a look. Yeah, and they've put and they've put the hold on. I'll I'll, I'll drop the. I'll oh drop well, the, I'm going on it now. I'm going on the website now. Hang about. Hang about. All right. Link. It's loading. Ah. Okay. So how do you? But how do you? There's nothing to. How do you? Yeah, exactly. How how do you? How do you? Why? How do you exactly? Exactly. How do you buy? Where do you buy the tickets from? Exactly. I don't know, <laughs> but. But the draw will be ta will take in place June, yeah? in July twenty. Uh, July at the traditional watermelon dance. Right. Uh, if anyone's watching live, how do you buy a ticket? And um, if so, um, tell me, and I will send you the money. I'll send you on Revolut or something. Get me a ticket. Get me a twenty euro ticket. I want to buy it. And, and if we win, and if we win, then I'm just going to do a giveaway on this show. I'm going to do it. <laughs> we, we we if we win it right we should uh I'll sell it and then give it the money to to Enoni Romiaki. well i was going to say we should get ernest and uh uh and Sadiq alex. to sign it and alex as well yeah where oh, did you find and, it and and sim and sim yeah get get them all on get yeah. you know they can ah oh. Hold on a second. Didn't we talk about a, a a scooter a while back? And they had the uh, the seat and they wrapped it in... They put a black bag over the seat. I'm sure we did last season. I can't remember. I can't remember. I can't remember. Where did we yeah, find I... it? Thassel's got the thing. Let me, let me put it in the I don't, thing. Uh, uh, yeah. Let me just put it in the thing. Right, this this is it, guys. But for some reason, you can't buy them online. I, I don't know. I don't know. See, Doxa, we're doing your job for you, but you need to give us the information. You, you need to allow us to purchase these things online because we're helping you sell tickets now. We're advertising it for you. Yeah. See, if, there was a, if there was a link that we can click on and buy online, it'll be easier. Yep. Think. Exactly. Think. Right. Joe, so, while you do that, I'm gonna I'm gonna message their Instagram and say where can, where can we get these tickets from? Yep. 
Go on, you carry on um, talking. In the meantime, so while while Stel's doing that, I'm going to bring up some more news. I'm going to do uh, th- these next two bits of news are rumours, transfer mm. rumours that are coming out already. So one is related to. Um, Chico Banza. Mm. It's Chico time. Yeah, so Gerkida are reporting that Chico Banza is on Maccabi Haifa's radar for a transfer this summer. So we'll so we'll be seeing him wear a Beitar Jerusalem or a Maccabi Petak Tikva shirt in the summer while he's in Angola. Because, you know, the, the, the two other Israeli football teams, you know, like, mm-hmm. like he did this, this summer. Anyway, um, and according to transfer mark, Chico is worth four hundred and fifty grand right now. Uh, according to transfer mark, Dan Orthos he paid one hundred and eighty grand for him. So profits, maybe. Although there's a rumor that I heard. Okay, I'm not going to tell you my source. And apparently, it's it's making the rounds in Cyprus, so it's not as if it's it's a it's a secret. Apparently, Marinagi wanted to buy your lot and was told to no no sorry sorry Marinagi wanted to buy Al and right, was told to you. get to F, and now he's turned his attention to to uh, what an orthodoxy. Yeah. Yeah. So apparently Marinagi is interested in buying Anorthosi. That's that's the rumor that I've heard. Okay, interesting. 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 That yeah, also reported on that, but they were like, Oh, a Greek team is looking to invest in Cyprus with a team with a lot of um history Hmm. so yeah that would make sense um second rumor is a greek website portuguese players by the way sorry Sorry? we're full of portuguese players as opposed as opposed to spanish ones yeah true but then again you might see a lot of nottingham forest players going to uh, going there on loan as well Mm. never know Mm -hmm. mario's come out fighting harry (laughs) toffolo None of his teams are fighting for the title this year. Matches the criteria. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're all struggling to stay afloat, really. Yes. So. Alan Hudson Adoy jo- joining an Orthosy on loan. Uh, Charlie Musunda going the other way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh my god! Oh dear! Oh my god! Right. So, second room, second transfer rumor. Is uh, a Greek website called sportdog.gr. Oof, oof. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, is reporting that one of the big teams in Greece is about to hand over or is willing to pay 1.8 million euros to Aik to sign Bitas. Mm. But Aik are looking for at least 3 million euros. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And apparently, there's a, there's a rumor come out today that Dancio and Gogorin could be heading to Ammonia. That's a rumor that's been make, making the rounds. And apparently, Sergio is is about to join Ammonia. Apparently, again, these are just rumors. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stoke up the fight of the flames. These are rumors that I've heard. It's AK Athens. Yeah, that was that was uh, somebody else brought that up, but. Uh, they were also saying that AEK Athens are interested in Loizu. So. Yeah, true. Morgan gives Aspros balling in the midfield. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, guys, we, we know they're all transfer rumours and you know what happens when there's transfer rumours. All you hear is... <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. But uh, I like the fact that they've started in March this year. It's quite early, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. There you go. So, there go. um, there's there's two things we can go for now. Yes. That are left. One is uh, one's got a uh, a little song that goes with it. 
and the other one doesn't. Who wants to go with the song first, guys? I know there's somebody that doesn't. Let's see if they comment after you play Let's it. See comment. Let's see if they comment. Or do you know what? Let's just go for it anyway. Let's go. Yeah. It's time to spin the wheel. What is going be? Spin the wheel now. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful little thing. So, um, down in the third division, Spartakos Kidio have been fined and ordered to play a game without fans, as in their last game against Ethnikos Lachon, 10 to 15 fans broke a gate and ran onto the, pe- uh, ran onto the pitch and beat the La- Ethnikos players up. Yeah. So, what's this about being hard on teams whose fans cause issues for the players? What was that again? <laughs> ah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, now another thing that came up as well was Anorthos has got fined for a lot of things that happened in their game versus Ayek. Uh, but there was one weird thing that came up in in uh, Vrioni's little statement. Weird. So, um, yeah, I might, we might have to ask Buffo about this. So, uh, but Buffo what did, what did the fourth official in that game to do to Anorthosi fans? Because we had there must have been some Nas Halamina fans in the crowd there, kind of trying to stir some shit up because. And also he got fined for fans spitting at the fourth official. So that was one. Um, But also they had messages which are inappropriate for sporting events with abusive and or obscene and or vulgar content aimed at the fourth official. Oh. So what the hell did this guy do to the Anathosi fans? I don't know. I, I don't know. Because <laughs> they really didn't like him during that game. They didn't like him to the point where they actually had prepared messages to be like, I don't know, your mum or whatever. <laughs> or, your mama. Or fourth official, Celedexilo. Is that thing gay? <laughs> Oh man! Oh, yeah, man. And after, and the last, the last thing as well was uh, the Omoni, uh, Omonia Two Electric Boogaloo were fined mm-hmm. for a lot of things as well. Uh, so there was a lot of pitch invasions and flares, and uh, a lot of stuff happened, which is normal for an Omonia Twenty Nine game. Um, drinking as well there was a lot of alcohol involved. Um, but they were also fined because they took drone footage of their match versus Bea, but without getting prior approval. <laughs> oh. Now, who did they need approval from? Air to... traffic control. <laughs> Lanaka Airport. <laughs> What, all the way from Valley? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah. But yeah. It doesn't you... make no sense. It doesn't make no is, sense. Yeah, but that's, that's the thing, right? It was officially part of the club. So the club took the drone footage. <laughs> Beautiful. Probably for their statistical analysis, because they don't have Scout. Or they don't have any other software to do that. I mean, what what is this? <laughs> <sighs> I mean, they complain. They complain that clubs aren't high tech or state of the art. And when they try to implement these new techniques, fine. Fine. What? I mean, yep. what what were they worried about that they might accidentally film someone? I think, I think in, in, in all, their apartment. 
I think it's more they needed to be sure that the guy who was driving it was controlling it properly. Otherwise, you know. Oh, do, do, do you need a license to, to control a drone now? Is, is it the same as I mean, having a driving license? I mean, in or... theory, you should have a license if you're using a drone. <laughs> Okay, but I mean, uh, but I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. If you're hi- so... if you're hiring someone to take drone footage, they're a professional. <laughs> <laughs> so they hired this professional to take drone footage. It might have been for promotional material as well to be like over the social media. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah. Uh, Fine, fine. Uh, but saying that, FC Grasava did get fined as well before because their social media manager was videoing from the byline. And obviously, she doesn't have the required qualifications to be on the byline. She doesn't have any coaching license, uh, coaching right. licenses or anything. Okay. But if so, she was listed on the team sheet, then she'd have been all right. I don't know. I, I don't think. I don't think she is listed on the team sheet because now all of FC Grasshopper's social media posts <laughs> during the games is in the stands. <laughs> that's in the stands in the in the studio. <laughs> well, Pedro says you do need a license to fly. Really? Yeah. In Cyprus. Yeah, you you would need the like. The only reason I can see them finding them. <sighs> prior approval first is because I don't know the Cyprus FA needed to make sure the guy wasn't going to terror terrorist strike the 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 Bayer yeah players maybe I don't know like dive dive bomb on, onto the Bayer yeah players oh, man, it's so it's so backward it really is it really is um so yeah that's that's uh that's your uh your free update fresh off the press from a couple of hours ago. Well, look, I, I can understand like the dangers of having drones because you got privacy. As I said before, I, I said it in jest, but you know, you might be flying a drone, videoing stuff, and you might catch someone naked in their back garden, you know, sunbathing. You never know. Maybe that's how Ahtimata gets in the squad because he's got nudes of Ketspire. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry, I, I had to bring that up because, you know, it's, it's get the F out, KTFO, get him yeah. out. Yeah, I'm just trying to get that image out of my head now. Of what? Of get by <laughs> I, I never had those thoughts and my imagination isn't good enough to, to think about that. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, anything anyway. else to report, young man? That's it for Mr. Vrioni this, this week. Oh, that's a shame. I was I was looking forward to a, a long list of of um I mean I mean there there are there are more things, but it's just standard stuff, you know, Spilevsky just... getting a ban for the water bottle, um yeah. ball anyway, boys but... misbehaving, sendings offs, um Yeah. We're done. It's time to spin the is coming we don't know in the wheel now there you go nice. we are done nice there is there is one more thing and this and there's only one reason i wanted to bring it up and you'll get the reason for it right at the end mm. um voxa baleomedohu are okay. in the third division, right? Okay. And they're top, and they're top by quite a lot. Sorry, is it third division? No, it is. It's Stoke Bilektigi. Sorry, I'm I'm a liar and a fraud. <laughs> I'm done my right. research. Tim. Yeah, uh, don't compare me to him. Uh, <laughs> but you just gave two characteristics. But so, Doxa <laughs> Baleomaidohu are going to be promoted to the third division. Should Ooh. they win uh, their next match next week? Right? Okay, but uh, the only, the only, no, the only reason I wanted to bring it up is because what I tend to do sometimes, it just does it automatically now, is I tend to hit Google Translate on the Cypress FA website. Okay, 
Uh, and what it does sometimes is it translates, or it tries to translate the names of the teams. Okay. As well. So you get you get some weird jump balls up. So Voxa Baleomedohu. What do you think that translates to in English? Voxa what? Voxa Baleomedohu. Uh, something old what? Gl- old shareholders glory. <laughs> oh, okay. That sounds like a night out. <laughs> it does sound like a night out, doesn't it? It sounds like a pub, actually. Let's go <laughs> to the old shareholders' glory. <laughs> See, there's any holes there? Oy. Glory, oh, <laughs> <Oy. laughs> get out of my pub! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So it's an so, EastEnders yeah. joke. For if you know, you know. You know. It, it is. It's it's a good one as well. Although it's from yeah. like 15 years ago now. Yeah. Like um, yeah, there is a question there from uh, Garperos. I think you should bring up. Okay, I'll let you get, answer that question. Get buyer comes tomorrow and offers you job as his, as his assistant. What do you do? Um, so, uh, when uh, when Kennedy got shot in Dallas, right? <laughs> his vice president took Kennedy? over. Because in Dallas, yeah, okay, yeah. So when Kennedy, I thought you meant, went... I, I thought you meant Jr. in Dallas. <laughs> no, 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 in the city of Dallas. Yes, I. So, <laughs> so, so again, it's another soap reference. Come on. Yes, yeah, I, I, I get it. I get it. Work not with so, me here. <laughs> not landing. Anyway, um, Kennedy, right? Got when he got shot at that in Dallas. Uh, mm-hmm. Johnson took over as vice president. Do you think that works when you're assistant no. coach of the of the national team? No, because usually the assistant coach has been brought in by the head coach. Ah, oh, well, they're, 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 nah, you're Actually, wrong he's there. Offered it. For, the, for the national team, you're wrong because then Gomidis mm-hmm. has been there for for a while. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> well, interesting. Well, I, I would I would be very strategic in my approach. I'd play the long game. And by that, I mean I'd befriend him. So, you know, we'd, we'd get to know each other. We'd go on a few nights out. Obviously, again, I'm not a drinker, so I'll be the designated driver. I'd look after him, you mm-hmm. know, hold his hair back when he's throwing up, that kind of stuff. You know? um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And then, you know, one day I might go in and say, Boss, do you want a coffee? I'll make you coffee. Yes, I have, a, I have an Irish coffee. Oh, excellent. So I'll go get a bottle of whiskey, whatever we've been putting in his coffee. But then I would get a laxative. Mm. But it wouldn't be just any laxative. It would be the most potent laxative to the point where he is shitting for days and days and days. And he has a hand in his resignation because he can't do the job. Mm-hmm. Interesting. That is that is that is a good chart. However, if Getspire came to me and said, "Rezazo, Rezazo, Rezazo, Elare, Elare, Elare," you got to go. You got to go more Vasilis Kara, Kara. You know, with that. Hold on. This is Rezazo. Throwing a little bit of throwing a little bit of Abramovich. Здравствуйте, меня зовут Роман. I'll be like, nah, I, I'm, I'm good, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> I do, but that's not what you're saying. It sounds like you're deep throating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, oh, sorry, man. it's meant to, it, Listen, we, we, it's, it's, it's late. Like, we could get away with saying these things, man. I, <laughs> uh, I remember this is this is 
NC Network After Dark. Yes, out of ours. Yeah. We're not on call now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the PG rating is gone. Although yeah. I'm thinking we're going to get demonetized now. <laughs> Mind <laughs> you, do you know what? It's funny though, because every time I put the um, the adverts on and you get the monetization, mm-hmm. immediately it goes to um, not ele- ineligible, it goes under review and then you need to appeal it and then they get back to you within seven days, right? Mm-hmm. When we do the shows in English, it takes about four or five days for them to review it. When the shows are in Greek, right? It takes them literally a day. I think someone just goes on to review the video and they hear like the first, eh, God, this better, so is it, yeah, and they just oh, I don't fucking understand what they're saying. Yeah, it's fine. I don't. <laughs> Could be plotting a terrorist attack for all we know. You know? We are, wait, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, because I just talked about JFK being shot. No, no, we're not doing terrorism. <laughs> There's no, no I'm terrorism. Just, I'm just saying like, they could be saying anything. <laughs> That it's just like, oh, I don't understand what they're saying. I can't, I'm not going to send it to the to Google Greece for them to review it. It's just like, it's okay, fine. Yeah. Tick the but even Google Greece won't understand what they're saying. It's, it's being it, in like it, Cypriot. It, so it, like, it, would, it would be funny if the video that doesn't have any footage of the Protathlima is the one that gets demoted. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, listen, to... to, to um, Cable Net and Cedar Vision's credit, they they haven't been nasty with us about it. So, mm-hmm. um, in fact, I, I think we're helping them. So, and I think they know people will kick off, which is which is even better. So, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to say anything. We, I'm just going to enjoy the ride while it lasts until we get a, an email saying, "Please stop, please stop. We're going to sue you." Nice. Right, okay, I'll mm-hmm. find a way. I'll find a way to get around it. I always do. If I can't climb um, the wall, I mean, I'll go around I mean, it. No, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, no, 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 no. You're not going to find a way through it. It's fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Don't demonetize. It's fine. Listen, I can escape Alcatraz. Don't worry about it. Ah, <laughs> uh, anyway. Yes. That has been your Cypriot football review for this week. Next week, we've got the Brotasli my back. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, including you know the the, the uh, group B disco that we've got going on, group B party with the music. Yes, That's, I can't uh, wait for that. Yeah, I love that. Uh, and, that. And, and maybe, maybe we might hear from our favourite director of football as well. Oh please, we need we need more JVs. We need more JVs in this world. Yes. Yeah, anyway. Come on, yeah, Johnny. Anyway. There you go. Right, boys and girls, thank you for tuning in. We've got 104 people watching live because it also adds the people on X. So thank you, everyone that's watching now. For those who didn't tune in from the beginning, we have a charity raffle going on. Here's the link. <clears throat> jccsmart.com forward slash e dash bill forward slash invoices slash 9051 forward slash pay. You donate. And when you donate 20 euros or above, you get entered into our match worn shirts prize draw. We've got many shirts on offer. Uh, one of them being the Scotland national team shirt. One of them is a shirt donated by the players union with all of last season's best players signatures on. And I know what Bedro's going to say, even Gagul Lee, yes, Gagul Lee was young player of the year, even the women's player of the year, even the golden gloves winner, which is Van Alves, a goalkeeper, even though he was in the team of the year. Thank you, Pedro. I know you don't have to write anything now. And once you do make your donation, email us, charity at nc-network.com with a copy of your receipt and which shirt you want to be entered in the prize draw. And don't forget, one more thing, when you do donate the 20 euros, not only are you entered into the 20 euro shirt draw, you're entered 20 times in the one euro draw. We get many, 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 many prizes and it's in the community section. In fact, it's even in the description. I've done it already. So if you want to know what prizes you can win, it's all there. There's so hotel you need to wrap it on. There's... So having better on early was a complete waste of time. It was just killing time for you to get your ass in gear because you're covered in powder. Yeah. Powder <laughs> thrown by the child. Nothing. Baby formula powder. Baby formula powder. Not yeah. the uh, not the um, hyperactive formula powder that people. Yeah, that often... apparently all the fish in uh, in the UK seem to be on. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> you saw that, right? 
did see that, yeah. <laughs> what is so going for, on over there? For, for those of you that, that don't know what we're talking about, there's a, there's a morning TV show called Good Morning Britain. I think that's what it's called now. Anyway, I don't know what it's called. And they had a guy, they were interviewing a guy that was a marine biologist. expert biologist. And he said, all the fish in the UK um, are on cocaine. <laughs> so like, what? <laughs> So apparently all these, uh, I don't know, drugs that are being thrown into the sea, whether it be antidepressants or ibuprofen or painkillers or whatever, when it's thrown in the sea, the fish digest it. And apparently there are crabs that are on antidepressants at the moment and they're having the same effects as... Hey, listen, I wouldn't mind if like I go to the fish market or the fishmonger and there's a crab there like going, hey, come and eat me. <laughs> Under the sea. Will you be my friend? <laughs> Under the sea. <laughs> Under the sea. Are you like Mr. Krabs from SpongeBob? <laughs> oh, a penny. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and on Instagram at this is Mappa. This is this is my at on Instagram. That's that's all on Instagram and on uh, Twitter or X. As I said, don't forget to donate for. And on your or Mia, if he is a great cause, we've raised how much up until now, Fasol? Um, according to the spreadsheet, we're on uh, just over five thousand euros. However, there have been people donating and not providing us with the receipts, and we're just waiting for an, uh, for an update from the charity. But they're saying it's something like six thousand five hundred. Yep, and hopefully we will so. smash that by the end of April. So mm -hmm. that's it. Anyway, guys, thank you again for tuning in. We'll be back next week. Bye. Yes.